We've been working on this for four years. It came out of our world record paper plane launch, which we still hold the Guinness World Record for that. And the idea was to take various areas, uh, UAV 3D printing being the most innovative, coupling that with high altitude ballooning and rocket motor operations, put it all into one package, one glorious rocket powered piece of madness. A lot of the stuff that we're doing has never been done, ever. So uh, the high altitude rocket launch is particularly challenging. It's easy to light a rocket motor on the ground, but when there's no oxygen, it's a bit more um, challenging. So we overcome technical challenges, one at a time, over four years, and we're ready to go now. And here's the problem with 3D printing. The CAD files have to be exactly right, because you don't get a second chance. The way the CAD file is, is the way it comes out of the printer. This process is quite expensive. Make sure you get it right before you print it, because if you have to do a revision of the design, you have to pay the whole thing again. The machine was German, fantastic bit of kit, half a million pound, the size of this room, and a bucket, and it, this arm goes across, deposits a very fine layer of powder, then a laser goes across, fuses the powder. This goes on for two days. They take the bucket out, it just looks like a whole bucket of powder. They bang it, and out come all the bits. It basically was taking three different areas, UAVs and 3D printing, high altitude ballooning and high altitude rocket motors and putting them all into one package. So from front working backwards we've got digital airspeed sensor, there's a Raspberry Pi camera under there attached to that, this is the Raspberry Pi rig, uh, servos for the canards, two canard servos, uh, autopilot GPS and magnetic compass, Heroic Playmanaut uh, pilot. This is the uh, 3D Robotics Pixel Autopilot mounted in there. And then behind that, obviously, you have your servo connections, various power supply bits and pieces for the, uh, the Pi, the Pixhawk, and the servos. And this, this is temporary because we, it normally runs on batteries, obviously, operationally. We've got it temporarily rigged up so we can run it off the main so we're not wasting loads and loads of batteries. This is where the batteries sit and you just got servo connections for the, for the rudder servers, which obviously you connect up before you uh, launch the plane. You couldn't launch it with the rocket motor at ground level, it would tear the wings off because of the air resistance. So that's where we've done a lot of software simulations and testing on the autopilot. They also do simulations of the autopilot and how that's gonna work. And they've done a virtual model of the plane and they will f use the actual autopilot to fly that in a virtual environment. So they're fairly confident it'll behave as expected. Basically, we've got a 3D Robotics Pixhawk autopilot. It's a standard off-the-shelf autopilot. Because it's open source, you can go into the code and you can program it yourself. That's what our guys are doing. They actually program the Pixhawk via a Raspberry Pi. And uh, the Raspberry Pi we've got on board also is also running the camera, the plane's camera. And it also acts as a tracker, a radio tracker which is handy if you want your plane back if it happens to get lost. We're going to launch at Spaceport America because they have a special permission for the airspace. This is a unique mission, so we need a, you need a, a proper environment to do it in. There'll be about eight of us going, and then we have a team of six people from Edge Research Laboratory in America who are high-altitude ballooning specialists, and they're going to help us out with the launch and the radio tracking and everything. So it's a, it's a big international effort.